Well, I think we should start. I know he's going to, I know he's trying to get on, I'm sure. We can, I've got nine, I, give it till 10. It's 9.59 on mine. Oh, okay. My, my computer here says 10.02. Oh, okay. Um, Checked my emails. There's, there's nothing from him saying got, he's having difficulty. Yeah. I thought the uh, cleaning people were coming and it's not their day. They're leaving. <laughs> they would have left. <laughs> <laughs> Never know. This, this place gets used by a lot of people and it's cleaned once, once a week and it's normally Friday. Hmm. But I think we're good. I see in one of the Northwest corner towns, well, there's Russ. There he is. <laughs> Planning and zoning had a meeting in the town hall parking lot. I think it was up in Canaan. Oh, how'd that work out? Apparently, it worked out fine. It's in the paper. They had pictures of everybody in the parking lot. Yeah. Well, another good place is um, the park because yeah. there's all the uh, picnic tables are up there. I think it's time time to do use the park and yep. spread out and yeah. Hey Russ. Hello. Good morning. Oh boy. Good morning, Russ. Can hardly hear you, Russ. Really? <laughs> That's Still? better. Okay. Anyway, good morning, everybody. Nobody ever nobody ever said that to me. <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> anyway, um. Thank you for uh, rescheduling this. That was a weird evening, the Tuesday of the storm. So I'm gonna call this meeting to order, a special meeting of the Board of Selectmen. And we, I had minutes, the regular meeting July 7th and our special meeting of July 27th. Right. I, I have think a I was at every group. one of those. Excuse me? I think I was at every one of those. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes from the regular meeting. Second. You're good. Yep. Second. Any other discussion? Yes, you were at both of them. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, okay, the tax collector's report I gave to you. Um, How about minutes one, of the two, special three, meeting? Four, five. Minutes of the special meeting? Oh, I'm sorry. He just did the regular meeting. Yeah, yeah. I'll make a I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of special meeting. Second. Any other discussion? Nope. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. All right. The tax collector's report. There were one, two, three, four, five uh, tax refunds totaling one hundred and thirty-six dollars. Make a motion to. Accept. Second. Okay. Any discussion? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, we have um, communications from the public. I And uh, Russ, I, last night I might, or I think it was yesterday afternoon, last night I sent a package with all of the stuff. So you, did you, there is a letter in there from Wayne to Verdick. Yeah, I read that. Yeah. I totally and, uh, agree with them. <laughs> well, I don't have a problem with, uh, you know, moving that sign. I mean, I think we could just go do it, move it down to, uh, so that you could see the intersection piece of it earlier than that. I think that's what his complaint was. The mirror, I really have to ask about that because it's on a state road. There used to be a mirror there once before. Um, it got destroyed in a, a storm. It was hanging down. And I remember asking an attorney about it a while ago, I mean, many years ago. And they said, do not put it up. The town should not put it up because if people are used to it being there and then something happens to it and it's no longer there and something happens, you're liable. Hmm. It, it was the same thing when someone um, went down by Hodge Park and went, ended up going over the falls and people were complaining that we should have a sign up there telling people that there is a drop off ahead. And the attorney again said, 
do not post anything that that's town. It's a nice thing to do and you should do it. But in a storm or, you know, those ice uh, storms that we have and they takes everything down the river, like the chairs and everything. If you don't get it back up, um, it's a problem if something happens to somebody. So I don't know. I mean, that's, that's what I've been told. I can run it by an attorney again. It is. It's a, it's a, it's a scary spot up there coming out of there. It is. I'm scared every time I come out. I know it is. It's when well, they're coming up that hill flying, uh, even, even, if, you know, the, there's not enough time. No. If, if they're speeding, there's not enough time. Right. So I know it, attorneys, attorneys tend to be very cautious. Anybody could sue you for anything. Um, oh. I think if it saved a life, it's worth a lawsuit. Well, I could, I can certainly have that put up there. It would help. If it, I, I agree. If it, uh, if it does help, we'll just make sure it doesn't break and it stays there. We yeah. Enough yeah. Well, we all see it enough yeah. that if it's getting damaged. All right. Put put a sign under it. Use this mirror your own risk. <laughs> yeah. You know, the, the state says uh, your state liability limit it when you when you use a road. <laughs> so. No, I I agree. Put it put a mirror up. It used to be there. I remember it, and it was yep. helpful. Yeah. Yeah, it is helpful. All right. Okay, I will do that. I won't even ask the state then. Oh, yeah. that probably shouldn't be in the minutes. But. <laughs> Darn Zoom. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Can we back that up? <laughs> no. We going okay, to so help. we're going to jump ahead. We've got a commission and board meeting, board uh, Barbara. appointments. Barbara? Yep. Were we going to discuss Dr. Clark's letter? It was on the agenda for the last meeting. Correct. And then, but we did discuss it then, and I was going to uh, speak to him. I, and then, I, so that's why when I did this, I said, well, we already did, we took care of that. However, I should fill you in. Um, I, I owe him a phone call. I did speak with Bill. Bill said he'd be happy to sit down and talk. I mean, then ev everything went crazy here. But Bill was not there as a police officer. He did not have his uh, uniform on. He had just happened to go by there when um, uh, Mike was leaving because he had to go get something. And he mentioned that Mo was come, you know, was saying something to him about being there. So uh, I think that's just a big total misunderstanding. And um, I certainly, like I said, Bill said he'd sit down, but he was not there as a police officer because Mo is asking for the police report. There is no report. Bill was there after hours. He went up just to, and it happened to pass Mike, so. Did, so Mike, does it, Mike didn't call Bill? No, he didn't call him. He didn't call him, he saw him. Yeah. They were like passing. I thought he called him, is is what the what I got, and uh, they, he was passing on his way out, and Bill ended up going in there. So maybe, I just want to throw something out. Maybe it's already done, but with Mo Clark, when when an event is scheduled at the park, yep, we just notify Mo Clark like a day ahead or a week ahead. Just any time. Just say, Mo, this is happening and the hours and what it is. Then he won't be calling us saying, what's going on at the park? Well, last year I did that actually for several years before that. And I would tell him that, you know, like when Picking and Fiddling was there, it was going to be all weekend. There was going to be stuff going yeah. on. If there was a wedding, right. well, we haven't had anything this year. I just, really. That was the only thing. And uh, there's, been, thing. there's been meetings. The but, meeting for the movie the other night. I don't know if he knew about the movie. Oh, that's true. That's right. That's right. But, I mean, I just to notify even myself, I'd like to be notified because everybody, a lot of people ask me because we're so close in proximity, what was going on at the park? And nine times out of 10, I have to say, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Well, you're right. There was, uh, but there has not been a whole lot scheduled right. there. 
right. this year. And uh, except for people going up and meeting, there was an ice cream social drive through that the seniors did have during the day. Um, but there's been nothing there at night now, except did, for uh, meetings. Elaine Urban contact you because she had to schedule a, some kind of a democratic town committee function to listen to some speakers about uh, two weeks ago. And I knew nothing of it. And she, she sent me an email and said, are you coming? And I said, where? And so I'm wondering, did Elaine just assume uh, that go there? Right. I don't, I don't think there was anything scheduled and because Judy takes care of that. Yeah. Uh, but it could have been, it could okay. have been on the, on the agenda. I can certainly send you stuff. Yeah. And Mo. yeah. I mean, with all this going on, it's good that yeah. more than one person knows what's going on so we can tell people. Yeah. That's it for me. All right. So anyway, we have, our, we have our commission and board appointments, Roxbury Museum. Uh, you can't seem to get through to, um, what's her name, Julie? You were trying to. I actually, I did get through to her, Jean. And Jean. she wanted more information and I passed her information on to Laura Miller. So Laura was going to get in touch with you if it was a good fit. Oh, okay. It, 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 okay. Um, ZBA alternate. Don't have anybody. Uh, I asked Nanette. She didn't have anybody. I did put it out there, I think, on Facebook, but I need to put them. I think I put it once in my email blast because the wetlands is looking, ZBA alternate is looking, um, the library. I, it must have got out there because someone called and I pushed, I, uh, after speaking with him, I thought he'd be a good fit on the library board. So I gave his name to um, Cynthia Newby, but nobody else has responded. So I guess I'll. So I, I'm going to make a motion to table the Roxbury Museum and the ZBA alternate. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Now we have all these uh, inland wetlands appointments. So we have an alternate that's a vacancy and we don't have anyone at the moment. So I'll make a motion to table that one also. Unless, Russ, you have anybody that we don't know of. No, I, I didn't know we had more than one. No, no, these are reappointments, the other ones. Oh, okay, okay. Um, no, we, we talked yesterday about you contacting that lady. Yes, I will, I will so contact her today. If you would do that, that, that would be wonderful. All right. Um, all right, so I'll make, I'll make a motion to table the Inland Wetlands alternate position. Second. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, we have Inland Wetlands, a regular member. Uh, term is up, Sue Fitch. And that was, that was, a, that was a, a yes, correct, Julie? That is correct. Yeah. So um, I'll make a motion to reappoint Sue Fitch to the Inland Wetlands regular member for your term. Does she want to be on? Did we talk to her? Yeah. Oh, we spoke. She oh okay, she good. Oh, good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. She left a message. I reached out to her, left a message, and she called back saying yes. Yep. All right. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I'll abstain. Okay, I will make a motion for the next in the wetlands regular member four year term, Rob Horrigan. And he's, he did say yes. Uh, second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. I'll abstain. Okay. Um, I don't know what I did here, but uh, Julie caught this. The Lake Willanona authorities. They, their terms are up in December, so I don't know what I did here. I, I thought we had one. I think what it was the last time there was a vacancy that meet that, but it still would go to the term of December. I really don't know what happened there, so I'm just gonna tell you that that was a Lake Lonona authority is a mistake, and and that's it, <laughs> right, Julie? That is correct. All three of them, their terms end in December. 
Yes, two of them will be this year. And so Julie was saying that we were supposed to approve the Lake Lilanona Authority odors uh, boat patrol. And, but we did do that, correct? Not this year. Yeah. Not, not this year? Well, at least not, not that I covered. Okay. Well, I can't add anything. So you know what? The summer's almost over anyway. We always approve them. Uh, we just like to scratch those two. All right, the library trustee, I'll make a motion to um, table that also because I didn't hear back from Cynthia Newby if uh, that gentleman would work out there. So I make the motion to table the library trustee. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I don't know what happened. Um, okay, Maple Bank Farm. I thought I was gonna have something to report here. Um, you know, Weantanak has a new name. I think of what it is. It's, uh, I don't know, Northwest, um, ugh. I'll find it for the minutes. Yeah, the I, can't, the I can't remember it either. I know. So anyway, Weantanak, um, they, they wanted to do a, um, a little personal recognition of Maple Bank Farm with the Department of Agriculture and just about 20 people because of the conservation of the farm, uh, that people should know that it is protected for life. There are new farmers there, but Kathy and Howie are still the owners. Um, they sold the conservation easement to the state and um, they wanted to do something and present them with something. And it, they were looking to do it in August, but the storm threw everything off. So anyway, I don't, that's all I can report on it. I just wanted to report on it. And when I find out, I'll let you both know. Okay. Um, okay, haulers permit. We do have one, I'm sorry, two uh, haulers that have registered, have met all the requirements. Yesterday, I heard from the third person that we we had in the past, and um, we let things slide this year a little because of COVID, because it was supposed to be done by July 1, and uh, uh, they apologize, but they're getting their information in. So the fourth one to come in was Triple R Maintenance. He asked for uh, an application. I got that off to him. And um, I sent you a letter. We do have some issues. And I would like to approve this letter and send it out to deny his application to haul in the town of Roxbury. Uh, I'll make a motion to approve the letter and the sending of the letter um, denying his application to Triple R. I'll second that. Okay, I will return his $250 registration. Um, I don't know, is there any other, any other comments? I will, I will put this letter in with the minutes, obviously. But there yeah. are basically, to sum it up for the minutes, is that there are violations of our solid waste ordinance. So he does not meet the requirements of that. Did uh, Gail get a look at this letter, or does she need to have she a look? She wrote it, I think. I asked her to please write it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's very detailed. <laughs> yeah. We talked about it, and I was taking notes, and then I asked her if she would please write it. Okay, good. And I provided her with some of the things that I had, so. Yes. But here's the thing. He, I heard he's hauling anyway. He is hauling. Should we warn residents? Or do we get in trouble for warning residents that he's not licensed to haul in the town? Well, by uh, trouble, I mean, do we get sued by him because? No, I mean, he's he's not supposed to be hauling in the town. And what um, with the state, when I have you know said, how long are you going to allow this with some of the problems that you have with him? They said, well, it's you can do something about it because it's your ordinance that he's also, uh, he, that he's not complying with. And so maybe we should start doing something about that. I just went by this morning again. And uh, I don't know, I don't know where 
it's going, but it's, it's obviously not going to our transfer station, but it's definitely trash in this town. <coughs> so we know for a fact that he's actually going door to door, picking up household garbage. I don't, or know, if, I don't know where it's yeah. from, but it's definitely being stored over here. Right. And, and that is the piece that the state has said he is not a transfer station, but he is treating it like a transfer station. Correct. And he will come out of there with a full load and go down the road and within 20 minutes come back with no load on the truck. Now, where is it going? I don't know, but he is using this as a transfer station. And that is where the state needs to get involved. Right. We, 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 should, get file, involved. we should file a written complaint to the state. Okay. Don't you think? Yeah. I mean, even have Gail write a letter to the state. Saying we're f he's using it as a transfer station. Well, you know what, John? John's on top of this, and it's very frustrating. Very frustrating. He, John, knows what's going on. He's taking pictures. He sent them to him. So we can try again. We can try again. But I mean, maybe our own police can stop him and say you're not supposed to be hauling in the town. Because yeah, that is our the, solid waste. Ordinance. Yeah, that's probably the best way to go for now. Yep. Okay. Um, okay, Mira. Uh, so I will... Can I, so can I ask a it? question on the, yep. the hauling? Yep. Because uh, we have um, George Stone bring dumpsters up here for demolition de debris you know, two, three times a year. Now he doesn't have a hauling permit for the town of Roxbury, but he brings his dumpsters in, sets them off and comes and takes it out. Um, and there's a lot of people with the dumpster service. Now, can we tell Fran he can't do that when we're letting everybody else do it? I don't know that it is, uh, I don't know that it is, um, trash like that uh bulky waste yeah. i don't know that it's bulky waste that he's only right doing. but and that's fran, what needs we need to find that out we do if fran brought a dumpster which i'd never never use if fran brought one up here and we loaded it with uh, debris um just like george stone there that's the same thing yep and we don't require every person that drops off a dumpster to have a hauling permit correct and um, hmm. but they are, and when they pick it up, they are going directly to where it is supposed to go, either in oh, Danbury or whatever. Oh, yeah. And here, some of it's coming right here to Roxbury and sitting overnight. Yeah, I know. I understand that part. He's not yep. supposed to be doing, but um, he can use his dumpsters just like everybody else has, and if he picks them up and hauls them out of town, no transfer, that he can do. So if we pull him over with a dumpster on his truck, he, you know, we got to prove that it stayed overnight at his shop. I think that's easy to prove. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, I could go take But it's, it's not leaving, it's, I'm not saying it's not leaving town because it may be going to Washington, but within 20 minutes, that thing is off the truck. It comes back and forth right in front of the town hall. So uh, I think we I think we need to delve into it a little bit more. Yeah, I would have to cop follow them, just see what they're doing. Yep. Hmm. Yep. Oh, well. Okay. All right. So Julie, what did we do? Did we make a motion to send that? I think we did. We did. We did. Jim made the motion, Russ seconded it. All in favor? Uh, uh, Okay. Um, Mira. So, you know, I was trying to get out of Mira um, and wrote a letter uh, stating my reasons why. And then I got a, they met again in, um, in uh, August, August 12th, they met again and took it up about letting Roxbury out. And they said, it's not that Roxbury is small and it's only 800 tons but it's, it's a precedence that we're gonna set in letting you out. 
So next March, we can, so, but Gail said, you know, we were looking at this angle that some of the um, deadlines for things were extended under the governor's executive orders. And she said, I think that we can fit this in there and say, no, we, we did do this in time. And uh, we did ask this in time, but going back, she said, you know what, it's going to be a fight. And I don't know that you want to fight this. So we just stay in there till March and, and make sure that we get out next March. And I, I do think it's probably. Yeah, it, it gives us time to have a backup too. We don't have a backup, do we? Yeah, you know, HRRA know. has said that they would take us. Oh, Absolutely. They did. Okay, yep. I, I missed that. Okay. And um, and actually, that word must have got out because the Bridgeport plant, whoever I can't remember his name, called and said that they, they'd be willing to take our our trash to, and that's a trash to energy plant, which for years. Well, then why not we, fight it? Hmm. What kind of fight would it be? Here's a letter. We had a 90-day extension. You're wrong. No, we but know she's in these saying times the fight would be to argue about the 90-day extension, that, that maybe it wouldn't fly. It's a, it's a quasi-state public utility. I mean. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's okay. Yeah. That's a stretch. Yep. So anyway. Um, okay. I, March isn't that The other problem. thing is, is that, that, you know, the state has said that they're not going to help the, with the $330 million. Mira is saying, well, now we have to go and start looking at these platforms so that we can get our stuff out of here. And now the state is giving them a hard time with that. You know what? Maybe we sit the year out and see what happens with them. Uh, because that nothing's going to happen in a year. And we're in this and our, our cost is set and we know where we are. So I think we just put it in a follow-up for March and a lot can happen this year. Who knows? Yeah, I agree. Yep. All right. So I'm going to drop that. All right. The steep, um, because of the storm, thank God, uh, the steep grant applications are due this Friday and not last Friday. And I'm almost done with getting ours in. So I just wanted to report on that because I didn't do anything with it last week. Um, the Kermas, um, equity distribution we did get a check from kerma oh my gosh here wait a minute and let me see oh no that's not it oh my gosh i had it right here i had everything in a pile here it is oh well we did get a check i think it was for thirteen hundred dollars as a reimbursement from kerma and uh we always put it towards some safety item and the police had asked if we could get one of those trailers and i thought we should just put it towards that because that was ordered and that is also something that could come under the covid uh, cares act something we purchased because of all the the cars and that came in after people were coming in from New York and the speeding and everything else. So I had asked about ordering it before and we did order it. So I think we should just put this money towards it. Sure. Okay. Uh, COVID updates. Really, you know, the thing with COVID got, got pushed aside with this tropical storm and, um, we we uh, we haven't had any, a report of any new cases in our town. I think people are doing what they're supposed to be doing. Everybody's wearing masks pretty much when they're supposed to. Haven't had any more complaints. We had a couple that I gave to Bernie, and I also gave to the health department. Let them address it. Um, but yeah, there's really not a whole lot. We're we're still. What we have to decide is: Do we want to open totally for the public to just walk in here? The public has been in the building, but uh, we are we are basically locked. That we lock them out until they can get outside and call and make an appointment to come in. But it's working. The senior center, um, you know, the senior center director, uh, they're upset. You know, they, it's closed. They know it's closed. They they know it needs to remain closed. 
but uh, I spoke with the friends of the senior center and they wanted to do a couple of things to keep the senior center alive at least. And uh, they had a drive-through uh, ice cream event at the park, worked out very well. The health department was involved. Then I have, um, uh, they want to do a soups on to go. And I spoke with the health department and they said that could be, that could, they could do that. It's providing a service. It's not a program. So um, we might get that going. But as for, and everybody, I, I haven't heard any complaints about us being operating like this. Have you, have either one of you? No. no. And I agree. I would continue just like, you have been and we have been doing um, and give this a little more time before we become yep. and uh, town hall. I think the town hall is fine. People can call and make an appointment. Um, There's nothing going through the cracks. There no. really isn't. Everybody is responding and doing what they're supposed to be doing. Um, you know, people are paying their taxes. We are about uh, 450,000 less in tax collections than we were at this time last year but they have until October 1st to yeah. pay taxes. So no, I think it's good. That's that reason. Yeah. Um, so anyway, the COVID thing is just going along and uh, we'll just keep operating the, the way we're doing. All right, recent legislation, I sent you something. The, the biggest thing is that they, they had two things that the legislature was meeting on in a hurry to pass and they've never, passed anything so fast in their lives. And one of them is the, the police accountability. Uh, and it's got, a, it's got a bunch of stuff. I did give you like a summary that from cost, I, I mean, KERMA. And um, I actually might try to get on to the, um, they have committees and they do have a, a public safety slash police committee. And I, I think I might just get on that so that I can keep up on what exactly we're supposed to be doing. But um, Matt Bell was going to look at the cameras that we were gonna need to purchase. And uh, even though they're not for a year, the problem is it's not a, even purchasing these cameras that they're gonna have to use. It's a body cameras, car cameras, but it's the storage of these films. Because I remember Waterbury, just saying we're not doing this before all of this because it cost them $600,000 a year to keep the films, um, you know, the tapes stored or whatever. That wouldn't be us, but it is going to be an expense, you know, that we're going to have to do, we're going to have to look at. So like I said, I'm, I'm not up on every single thing, but I am going, I think I'm going to get on this uh, committee through Karma so that I can stay up to date on it. But it's too bad. I think that there's some things in here that really didn't need to be in there. that got passed and they're going to cost us money. Okay. I don't know. Then the other legislation had to do with zoning, but they, they haven't really done anything with that getting di housing diversity and changing zoning and stepping in and taking over everybody's, everybody's business. But we'll see where that goes. I know. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. All right, I sent you the fire marshal's report for June and July and the resident troopers report for June and July. I just get to make a motion to accept those. Make a motion to accept fire marshal's report. For Second. June. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any discussion or anything? Nope. Nope. Okay. Uh, and then, and you said fire and trooper, right? Yes. Oh. And the only thing I, I, I would just like to just comment on is um, we had a really great emergency team here during the storm. And it was, you know, Bernie Meehan, um, Sharon from the from EMS, but it was Sarah Laureate and Todd Wheeler. Uh, really, every and our and our public works was outstanding. Stepped up and uh, everything was handled really well. Everybody chipped in and did something. Sarah had the EMS people and herself checking on the elderly. She brought them water. Um, it, it, we it was just really organized. It worked out really great. The firemen stepped up to help these guys as flaggers. 
and uh, they had to respond to a couple of calls, but it was very good. Good. And that's it. And I, and we can't really add anything got, else to this. So one thing motion Barbara, to adjourn. One, I got one yep. um, back on our trees, our dead trees. I yes. mentioned the trees up here in Botsford. Yep. And I don't know if you had a chance, but the one um, near Judge Road and 119 Botsford, it's a huge, very dead maple with dead branches hanging over the road. And it's definitely a uh, uh, ever source tree because there's wires very close to it. I wouldn't want anybody other than those ever guys. Source. Yeah. But well, I will. Um, we actually got someone we're going around today doing a lot of the hangers because a lot of things are starting to break again. We just had a tree fall across Minor Bridge Road. And, uh, but it's I in the there wires. Was one, I was up on Painter Hill this morning and the road was blocked. Oh, they really? Were removing, yeah, they were removing a big tree. It must have just fallen down. Well, uh, like I said, we're doing we're doing hangers. We have Jonathan Lord helping us do all the hangers today. There's a lot of bad ones that happened after. Yeah. So that was across the road. Across yeah, I mean, we sat there for 15 minutes, watched them cut it up and pick it up and move it. Hmm. Okay. I don't yeah, this, one, this one's a, a safety thing because it's. Uh, but I, that one is definitely on our list, as is the other. Um, I don't know if they got to the other one that you mentioned to me. The dead one, it was right across from uh, Golden Harvest Road. Uh, right. It's dead as dead can be, but it's a tricky one because it's all covered with poison ivy, and you have to stop your car and look straight up to the top, and it's all rotted and. Pieces are falling out of that. Those two are definitely on our list, and I, um, I will call EverSource today yeah. about Judge Road because they have to get on to that minor bridge That's one a dangerous, too. That's a dangerous one because they're over. big, big pieces that are falling. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. Wait. Did we do the motion to adjourn? No. no. <laughs> motion to adjourn. adjourn. I'll second. All right. All in favor. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Can See we you all later. Again for rescheduling. So wait. No. Next time. The meeting after the meeting. I mean, if I'm away, if I go, oh. no, I shouldn't go away. I, <laughs> for this baby. My God, when is our, let me see. When is our, oh, September 1st, we have a meeting. We have this meeting September 1st. I'll keep my fingers crossed. So you think <laughs> we can do that? Can we come to the town hall, you think? Or? Or, I mean, I, this is I working, but I mean, I'm ready to get back to. Yep. I to don't you. see why not. Yeah. I don't see why not. We can do that. I mean, whatever you think. Church is back. They're meeting here. Oh, really? <laughs> I, let, I let them come in. Yeah. All right. All I right. Let's work. Yep. Thanks, Jim. Okay. See ya. Thanks, Julie. Bye, Julie. Bye-bye. <laughs> Huh.